Hi, it's Lynn from Lily C Designs. Thank you for joining me today. I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator based in West Sussex in the UK. And I'm coming on just to share a slightly different version of this cute Valentine's card um, that we're going to make in my card class this week. So we are featuring Awesome Otters, which is a celebration item and you can earn this stamp set for free with a qualifying order of 45 pounds there will be links below to my blog which will have all of the information that you need so we're going to use that for this version of the card i'm going to use two of the tasteful labels dies some of the faux linen ribbon which is in the new mini catalogue, some iridescent rhinestones, which is in the new mini catalogue, and a piece of the Sweet Talk DSP. So I've already die cut my label, my labels rather, and the heart. The heart actually you was from the Give It A Whirl dies, but you know you can use whatever you like i just loved the fact that it had the stitching around the outside and you know i'm a fan of the give it a world eyes let me pop all of this out of the way i've got an envelope i've got some basic white for stamping the card base is real red and this is half a sheet of A4 so it is 14.8 by 21 and scored at 10 and a half and then I've got two pieces the basic white for the inside and some designer series paper they are both the same size and they measure 10.2 by 14.5 centimeters and I've got another piece of the design another strip of designer series paper and that is just um two and a half centimeters that length and this is this 10.2 so it goes like that what i'm going to do on this one let's do the stamping first And I've got some memento ink somewhere. There we go. Memento ink. Not sure what I'm going to put on the inside yet, so we'll leave that blank. This is for. I'm going to stamp this twice. That is my sentiment. And I don't put the cling stickers on personal preference they I think it works quite well a bit wonky a bit like me that's fine I think it works quite well without now I'm also going to stamp this on here once I'll let that dry a little bit Gonna bring my trimmer in and I'm gonna cut this down doesn't really matter where um, I'm doing that at seven but this time I thought I'm gonna see how it goes I thought that would look quite nice on the base like that now some people would have another piece of basic white to stick their designer series paper on 
I don't. Um, it's just personal preference. Some people might even use um, some copy paper to do it. I'm just going to... these in now let's try and get it straight on there and then this bit will go over there to hide the gap very cute let's in the front it is a beautiful day today the sun is shining makes such a change we've had some really wet weather for the start of the year so I'm going to leave that there for the minute and come back to our darling otters I've got some balmy blue ink and I'm just going to that down so I don't ruin my lovely paper. Just going to add some balmy blue to that label so that he looks like he's swimming. Could have used stamping blends like I did on the other one. I do like my blending brushes. Just add a really nice, it's really nice and smooth application of that colour. Lovely. Now this wasn't my idea at all so you can see that he's actually she he she is actually um, holding a fish there so I've got some cinnamon cider and the light crumb cake don't know whether this is a true representation of the color having never seen an otter this is what I'm going to do. And then my light cinnamon cider. do love stamping blends um, I have got stamping right markers and they're great to use on stamps if you want to add color direct to stamps you shouldn't use these blends because the blends are alcohol markers and they'll, um, they'll mark your stamps they won't stop them working, but they will discolour them, especially photopolymer stamps. Let's quickly add some colour there. I 
I thought this was an absolutely genius idea from a fellow demonstrator. Um, it's one of the many perks of being a demonstrator that I absolutely love is we get inspiration. We've got a private demo group on Facebook and it's always full of fabulous inspiration. And a little bit of shading down that end edge. That's the dark cinnamon cider and then around there and blend that out. But yes, our demo our demonstrator Facebook group is just fabulous for ideas and um, if you're a crafter I think you just love um, inspiring other people so we do you know it's a great compliment if somebody wants to case your work over that a little bit too much. I'm not great at blending. I have to do one of the other demonstrators who are good at art and sometimes run fabulous classes. Right. Um, to teach us or to share their knowledge. So I think I might have to book myself onto one of those. Oh, that's all tied up. And I'm just going to cut these little beauties out. And I'm going to try and do it actually on the line. Probably could just have coloured this one, this guy in. even though I've added the blue because the blends would have gone over the top. I'm not going to worry about his little heavy spikes. They will be underneath. You can hear my other computer running in the background. That's all I can hear in my head. So he's going to go on there. Cute. And then this is the genius bit. We just want the arms. So I'm going to give him little Right. So somebody trying to get us to buy a local paper. And I don't really, I mean, we haven't got a, a paper. My dad still buys a paper, the daily paper, during the week. But we haven't even, we used to buy a Sunday paper for the TV. Oh, that's a bit... I always feel bad saying no to people such a pushover anyway I did say no my husband was shouting from upstairs no so okay so Get 
guess this is a bit like paper piecing but I'm adding our little fella over the top there flat down on there and I want him to be him or her good just suddenly thought I hadn't pressed play again Oops. fingers and thumbs get that so that it's over the fishy off to one side and then we can just oh too much otherwise it'll squidge out oh how cute is that look Genius! So, so, the ideas we get, and I will credit the lady that I learnt that from. Um, so he can go on. If you, so he can go on with some dimensionals. Look, we've got. I guess I could have tied the ribbon round this. Oh, it's so cute. He sh I'm saying he. Could be a shoe. You are utterly awesome. So we'll get some of our faux linen ribbon and tie a nice bow. that with a couple of glue dots the final touch is some iridescent rhinestones take my take a pick tool I just love these gems. They're three sizes. Uh, let's do my threes. Perfect. There we go. Which one do you prefer? I think I quite like this because it shows the both sides of that designer series paper anyway thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it i will see you next week bye for now